So you are probably reading the title of this video with your head tilted to one side thinking, what is this dude talking about? Well the truth is guys, today we take a look at an amazing SMG that you 100% must not get and I'll explain in a quick second. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also guys, before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, at amazing prices with incredible weekly discounts, check out G2A linked within that video description. So I know what you're thinking. Hey DPJ, how are you going to show off an amazing SMG but tell us at the same time to not go and get it? I want whatever you're having. Trust me guys, no you don't. But yes, today we take a look at a weapon I actually got as soon as Mayhem 2.0 dropped. And well, at the same time, I hope you didn't do the same. And that's because this is a quest weapon. And if you did not know, quest weapons at the moment, for the most part, are bugged. So if you do a quest on, say, Mayhem 10, even in that true Vault Hunter mode, the reward you get from said quest does not scale. And it will drop at a level of Mayhem 4 pre-patch, pre-Mayhem 2.0 patch. Now I know this because a friend of mine went through and collected a couple like the 7th sense on Mayhem 10 True Vault Hunter mode and they didn't scale to those Mayhem 10 levels, which is an absolute shame. I then jumped on the internet, had a look through a few forums, through Facebook, through Reddit and a lot of people are complaining about the fact quest rewards do not scale. Now I do however believe this is an unintended bug which Gearbox will sometime fix, well I hope. Anyway, so the SMG is called the Pricker and it's one of the most easiest weapons to get as it consists of the most simple quest which is called Claw and Order. It's a quest which you pick up near Marcus and it's for Maurice. Now the entire quest I will show you guys at the end of the video if you are interested in seeing it, but that's how this quest is started anyway. Now if this is a quest you have still got to do, don't do it yet. If you've already done it like I did, then you will have to redo it within that true Vault Hunter mode or on a different Vault Hunter. But for the time being, until Gearbox fixed the issue with quest rewards, hold off on doing it guys. So yeah, I got this thing straight away, so it's damaged and thought, yep, this thing is bad, too weak for Mayhem 10, and in my bank it went. But at that time I didn't know quest loot was bugged, so I forgot about the weapon. Well, until cleaning out my bank last night, and it stumbled upon me that this weapon is in actual fact a great weapon. I was just looking at it the wrong way, and we have to test this thing to see what it's truly capable of, where it's damage output is scaled to, and that would be Mayhem 4, as this was top level before Mayhem 2.0 was introduced, and I do believe this is what the weapon was made for. So off to the usual place, the slaughter shaft. Help in terms of class mods and artifact, I mainly had extra mag size, as you can see by this thing's clip of nearly 100. So this Hyperion SMG, this epic radiation only SMG, what have they to say now? It consumes 2 ammo per shot, and irradiated enemies damage enemies around them. So on paper with its 676 damage, it doesn't seem that great at all because we're so used to seeing Mayhem 10 levels. Well this is basically on the same damage par as the redistributor in terms of a Mayhem 4 damage scaled weapon. And in actual fact guys, this thing, like the redistributor, is amazing but just in a whole different way. Now anointments, I haven't seen this with any, but that's not to say it can't drop offering them. So getting into using this thing and why I say it's amazing. So first shooting it, I quickly realised how slow its projectiles seemed to sprout out of this thing. And first I thought how weird, but then it dawned upon me that this thing's projectiles do indeed track enemies to a point of it almost basically being an SMG version of the auto aim sniper. And it isn't really that apparent until you get closer to enemies. And then you witness a tracking in effect. And what this does is make for a great, great DPS weapon. Because if you are jumping around, spraying from the hip, those shots are always going to hit that enemy if you're close enough. One thing that does kind of let it down though is the fact it's almost impossible to hit a crit shot, for the most part. Because with these smaller enemies, it tracks to that mid section. But hey, I mean, all is not lost. It still deals great, great damage for sure. But taking that into account, that crit shots are almost impossible to hit it may not be great for certain builds out there. So what we have here guys in my opinion is an incredible SMG which tracks those targets and people have mainly overlooked due to its low damage for what Mayhem 10 requires. Get this thing at that Mayhem 10 damage value and I do believe we will have ourselves a very interesting weapon for sure. You just have to wait until quest rewards are fixed 
and they drop items scale to said mayhem mode they are acquired in. So the SMG is called a Puka and you get it from a super simple quest which basically sees you running around a ship and you guys can see that quest on screen now. But yeah guys this weapon is a great great SMG, one I do feel would offer so much more at a Mayhem 10 level, but it could be quite some time before we see said fix put into place, hopefully within that next patch. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next. One. I don't believe that for a second. I see how he looks at the humans aboard. He's hungry, and I think he's been eating people. I saw him dragging a bag up to his den. A human-sized bag. Go see what you can find, Vault Hunter. Someone? Ah, that can't be right. There's got to be some dirt somewhere. Find it, Vault Hunter! You here for me? I'll be whoever's enemy you like, if the pay is right. Or if I'm bored. Who's the target? Maurice has made enemies of powerful people. As part of his ongoing mission to learn the warm blood's ways, he joined a high-stakes poker game. Uh, he apparently has a knack for it, but there was a misunderstanding. In Maurice's world, it is good manners for the winner of a contest to devour the loser. <sighs> The organizers of the game were unfamiliar with this custom. Ah, be there. Except I used a knife. Teeth. The knives of the face. Sorry, what were we talking about? The leader of the Galactic Iridium Cartel now seeks vengeance. Already some of his lackeys have broken Maurice's arm and threatened worse. You will find this cartel leader's hideout and slay him. But it is well hidden. Maurice requires the coordinates in order to send you there. Begin with his informants. <laughs>